Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial video. I'm Ian Campbell and today I'm going to be talking about bodyboard basics. Now bodyboarding basics come from four major things that I've thought up that you guys should really know. The first is the bottom turn, then it's the positioning on your board, your weight distribution and where your hands should be. Now the weight distribution and your positioning on the board kind of go hand in hand but are slightly different things. When it comes to hand positionings, I'm just going to explain where my hands are and where I like to feel the best drive throughout the wave. And lastly, we're going to talk about one of the key fundamentals in bodyboarding and that is the bottom turn. I specifically have made this basic move one of the best things in my arsenal in order to attack the lip, get big moves, gain a lot of speed and drive through the wave. And this is kind of my setup point for all the moves that I do along the way. I'm really keen to show these with you guys and I really hope you guys can gain some more understanding of exactly what basics you will need in order to do those big air moves or drive through those long barrels. Let's get into it. So first we're going to discuss the bottom turn. Now the bottom turn is fundamentally the most important part of bodyboarding. It's where all your setup maneuvers will come from and really where you start to drive and find most of your speed as you're getting onto the wave. What you're going to want to do is make no sharp movements. It's all going to be smooth, drawn out lines and in order to do that you're going to want to remember the hand positions and what you're going to be wanting to do is to distribute your weight across the board. So if you're going to be going left, you want to distribute that hip onto the left hand rail and while you're doing that you're going to lean with your whole body lifting the front nose up in order for it not to dig and lift that rail with your right hand in order to pull yourself along the wave in one smooth movement shifting your weight forward to gain speed shifting weight back to slow yourself down or just neutral in order to just maintain that speed along the line this is really going to get you set up to get some really big maneuvers in and keep that speed and drive along the wave. So when it comes to positioning your hands on the board, you're going to want to put your front hand over the front corner. I generally like to keep my pinky finger around that corner on the edge there. And then what you're going to do is shift your weight back a bit so that your hips are just about at the edge of the board. And your other hand is going to come around at the base here, kind of in line with your hip or where your hip would be lying on that side of the board and that's generally where you want to be driving all your weight on the board and where your hand positions specifically are going to be in order to lift the nose up so that you don't nose down as well as to pull the rail up to engage the inside rail as you bottom turn. So when it comes to positioning yourself on the board you're going to want to keep this side of your arm so the arm that where the elbow is resting on the board at a 90 degree angle so you can see that my body is lying at that 90 degree angle the back is arched and your hand is going to be on the rail if you look at it from the other side it's going to be that same 90 degree angle hand around about where your hip is and that's going to allow you to really pull the rail up and get that inside rail engaged while you're doing that you're going to want to pull the nose up and that's going to help you from stopping the board from digging in the nose as well as that rail in one movement in order to just get you kind of planing along and get you going on the wave. Weight distribution will go hand in hand with your positioning on the board. In order to slow yourself down you're going to want to slide yourself back on the board and this kind of allows you to drag your legs a lot more. My hips are all the way at the back of the board and my legs are dragging completely in the water. This is going to slow me down. In order to speed up, all you're going to do is pull yourself forward on the board and that's going to push the weight further forward, allowing you to drive down the wave 
and really get a lot of speed. That positioning and weight distribution is really what's going to get you moving on the bodyboard and it's vital to learn these steps in order to get those big maneuvers that you've been practicing. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Please comment exactly what you guys want to see in the next video as well as like this video. I really appreciate all the support and we'll see you in the next video.